Uh, it's very exceptionally clear tonight, so I thought that uh, I will not go out, but I will have used this uh, brass telescope. And uh, this is what I did. I put the brass telescope on the table. It's a D40 millimeter Opticron telescope made by Kenko, famous Japanese optical company. I'm doing uh, observation from within the room. It was a warm place through the double glazed window and by the mobile phone camera. Uh, visually, there is not much uh, uh, chromatic aberration, but the camera lens introduces that naturally. At the same time, uh, the double glaze doesn't help it. But anyway, let's see how uh, what we can see from the moon. And yeah, I'm going, this is 20 times uh, uh, um, uh, eyepiece. Let's see how it is. I just try to adjust the uh, view. As you can see, this is just a few hours before the first quarter. Six hours probably around that. And as I zoom, you can see a lot of details. I can see the uh, many of the uh, Terminator area craters. And uh, most of the seas are visible, the ones that are near the uh, edge of the moon. And uh, some chromatic aberration to the uh, top part of the image. Uh, I, visually, it was not much, but uh, because of the uh, camera lens, this is also uh, added to this a little bit more exaggerated. Now let's see the Jupiter. Visually, I could see the two of the satellites uh, around it. But the camera probably is not very sensitive to show it. This is the Jupiter. They are, they are to the right side of the image. And uh, that was very interesting. I could use a brass telescope. This was the first time I expected that uh, brass telescope not be as good as a normal telescope. But you can see that there is some flickering because the Christmas lights are yet on. So ignore those things if you can. That was a beautiful experience.